What's going on everybody? It's me your host Bella Wright and this of course is the Occult Gaming Channel and we are continuing our playthrough of Lost Kingdoms this amazing action card based game that we've been playing uh, for the last uh, probably month and a half when you guys is in um, well month and a half on my end so maybe a little bit more than that when you guys is in so uh, last time what we did was we accidentally uh, went back to the Raw Rock Temple and unlocked uh, an extra stage so we're just gonna go to that extra stage um, to complete it and to get our last legendary sacred beast uh, card to help us on our adventure and that's gonna take us to this place called Hupon Jin let's just take a quick look at Hupon Jin um, should be a nature area and we have confirmed that it is a nature area so I'm gonna hold off on reading the description or goal just yet because uh, we do want to adjust our deck accordingly to fight nature monsters and to do so, we're going to take a shit ton of fire monsters. So this right here isn't my ideal deck, but we're going to take it with us to do some damage to wood type creatures. I guess, I guess that's fine. I guess this is fine. I guess this is fine. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can do a little bit better. I think I got new fire monsters. This guy pisses me off. Um, uh, this guy's pretty good. Uh, Demon Fox. We can actually take Demon Fox. He does damage to every wood creature. So I think we'll do that instead of Dark Raven here. Uh, fine, fine, fine. I guess we don't need two of these, but I, I, I'm kind of okay with two of those. Um, do we have, we got two Ifrits. And we got Phoenix. Phoenix doesn't really do much, though. To absorb all damage taken. Yeah, we don't, we don't need that. We're trying to, like, do offense. We aren't trying to be limited. Um, I think I'm going to take out this other Dark Raven. Just because it, does, it doesn't do much damage at this stage. For that. Um, everything else is fine. Because it's, it's purely a nature level, so. Although. 24 damage isn't spectacular. What about. <clears throat> 14. Yeah, we'll take out. We'll take out. Bloodbush. <clears throat> for this. We could put Wizard in there, I guess. But. I'm not super duper interested. I think I'm okay with this. Um, maybe too many of these. Perhaps. So 21 compared to what again? What's that? 24. So yeah, we're gonna take out maybe two of those for these guys. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's perfect actually. Uh, we'll do one more thing. Um, we'll two more things. We will check in with Gert, see if she has new cars to sell or anything like that, and uh, maybe a new area. Although we're already drowning in areas, so maybe we don't need a new area. Alright, she's already said that. Um, anything to sell? Looks like the same stuff, I think. Yeah, this stuff is fine. Yeah, I don't need any more of anything, really. Okay, I was in like, what, two ferries away from uh, getting his next car, so I think I should have enough at this point to get, um, what was it, 80? from Alexander Let's see what he's talking about first our community of red fairies has grown considerably thanks to you I don't think this house will hold much more than 100 don't you agree I think so I think it won't hold too many more unless we combine them all then yeah, then you get more space. So I think you'll be okay, Alexander. I'll bring you a few more even. You brought in four fairies. That brings your total up to 87. Oh, gotcha. So what we need? Um, 90 or something? Probably 90. Or we need three more. I am okay with uh, so we're good so we can go ahead and go to this level Hupon Jin let's read about it acquire the help of the white tiger 
According to legend, the wild forest of Hupon Jin is home to the mystical white tiger, the lord of all wood creatures. So let us see what the white tiger is about. Oh no, this forest. I remember this forest being annoying. I don't know why. You're in the forest of Hupon Jin. Humans that stray into the forest never leave. Oh no, it's that type of forest. It is a forest littered with the bones of the lost and the damned. <laughs> Be what death stalk ahead. This signboard is unreadable. A beast of some kind has scratched the letters. Has scratched off most of the letters. Uh, thank God you said that, cause I can't see anything. But these horrible graphics. I say horrible graphics, cause I couldn't think of anything better to say. Graphics aren't horrible. I don't think they're horrible. Okay, and that's what the way out over here. Just making sure again. I think so. I think this is the way. Yeah. So we proceed over here. Yeah, I remember each room had like a arena battle. Yeah. I think this. Who the hell is this? That doesn't look like a normal queen bee. I think it is though. Whatever. I'm gonna kill you guys. Cutscene attack. Giant bee? That is the name of the car we have, right? Yeah, we already have that, right? Yeah, because I'm thinking it's called Queen Bee, but uh, yeah, it's Giant Bee. Like, I knew she had, like, a special, like, headpiece, but I didn't think her body was, like, a different color, too. Okay, so this thing is going to close right after we come in here. That's the annoying part. Drag around. Or is this the one that closes? Yeah. Fine. Why would you do this guy? He was this the guy that was like right in front of you. Ow. Kill him, peace. Kill him, man. I can't do it. You can probably like destroy these in combat or something. Unfortunately, I'm not so interested as to. I mean, I guess I can try. I don't know. I don't think random battles are a thing here. I think you only get into battles when the door is closed. So, whatever. Yeah, it's kind of a maze. You got to figure out like how to get to these other areas. So let's try it. So I do need two more fairies, at the very least. Demon Hound. Random battle. Or not so random battle. <laughs> more like a curated battle. Oh, you tried. You, sir, failed. Oh no, I failed. Fine, I'll take you all out. I'll take all you bastards out. Except for you. Because you were invincible. I will take you out with this guy. Great demon. I think he got health back for me too. <laughs> Not entirely sure.
Let's see. <clears throat> Great demon, you sir, what did you do for me? Now I know he as a monster gets health back f for when he does attacks. So you guys let me know if he healed me or not. I'm going to try him out again, but I think he healed me. Not sure. <clears throat> this guy. Cool. Yeah, he did. He healed me. So these cards... I knew um, Demon Skeleton did something additional with his AI, but it looks like a Great Demon has an extra effect that isn't listed on his card. He actually heals you. He actually heals you. How about that? And this is going to give us some lore. I'm going to call these the Lore Stones. The remaining god fear the two warring gods. Um, would return and renew their destructive war so that uh, so that the two imprisoned gods should never meet again the third guy split the land into two halves onto each continent the third guy placed one of the imprisoned gods the god sealed the prisons of the other two guys with five rune stones of power So he sealed both prisons with only five rune stones, or he sealed each prison with five rune stones. That would be the difference between five rune stones and ten rune stones. I'm pretty sure it's the uh, the first situation where he used, uh, the guy used five rune stones to imprison them both. <clears throat> This guy. See now with you. We don't want you giving people defense. Oh wow, what the hell? How did he get hit? I don't even understand. So that open this didn't open. So are we going in circles? Because I feel like I wanted to go over here. But no, I don't think we came <clears throat> through here yet. So that's going to be a new area. Something we're going to want to visit at a certain point. Rebus. And we're leveling up Rebus. Um, well, we were anyway. So where's this lead? That's fine. That's gonna take forever. Oh, these these mushrooms do uh, take damage. Oh, and I'm poisoned. I am poisoned for the length of, for the length of a battle. That's the only thing I opened up. <clears throat> I can use you, fairy. Didn't need that though. Fairy? I need my cars back. Because I don't know if I packed the mind flare to this deck or not. <laughs> it doesn't look like I did. Oh, that was a bad decision. That was a piss poor decision. I'm back over here. That doesn't make sense. Hey, I need cars back. Yes. You know what I need. Here, another one. Oh, that's you over here. So how the hell do we get over here then? We have to, um... Sweet. We have to go back around somehow. So we've taken these two areas, but now we need to probably go around... 
there'll probably be something that provides us a way to get over there from the other side. So I'll just proceed normally. Yeah, give us another battle so I can break these. <clears throat> Mama. Hey, you can, you can. Yeah, you guys can, uh... Really? You're not gonna... Are you not gonna help me out here? Oh, yes, you did help me out. You, sir, are a gentleman. In the school of... Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it right here. Do it, swing. Swing, battle, battle. Oh, you got poison. Slow. Swing, bad bad. Swing, bad bad. Ha. Right over here. You know you want to. You know you want to. You know you wanted to. You know what? I want to get my health back. With that wondrous effect that isn't advertised on the card. I love it. It's not even in his um description. It's pretty cool. Alright, so where are you taking me? Okay, this is the area we haven't been yet. We get a Mandragora. Thank you. So I think we No we haven't. Okay, so that's where that other fairy is. Cool. Got here, giant bee. Yeah. Uh, what am I gonna do? Um, I'm gonna try to get both of you guys to line up. Perfect. Perfection. Not perfection. Oh no. The stupid side hop. They get so much range. This could be perfect, but on side hop. Yes. Didn't kill him though. Didn't kill him. Need more variety. Alright, you guys are. You guys are kicking ass. Kicking my ass. I don't like it. Come on, asshole. Oh, he's so random. Fuck it. I really, all the enemies that move erratically in this game, I really hate them. Like, I, I lose patience with those enemies. Oh, this didn't open up, though. Damn it. Oh, was I supposed to break something, maybe? I think I was maybe supposed to break something. It looks like a, looks like we have another opportunity to maybe get in there. Maybe. I'm gonna try to get another random battle though. I'm gonna try my best. I feel like maybe I was supposed to break something though. Probably not. It's probably where we end the level at. So I'm gonna. <sighs> I think I'm gonna proceed forward. Makes sense that I would have to break anything to open this door, though. So that's why I'm temp more tempted to proceed than uh, stay. All right, we'll keep going. Probably once we get these, we'll be able to get the heck out of here. Cockatrice, really good card. Cattle po catter poker, sucky card that I can't ever pronounce on. Uh, correctly on the first try and ghost armor kind of a decent card sweet we hear the sound of a door opening in the distance so let's see what that door is 
Yes. Excellent. Whereas Megatron would say, Yes. Uh, this is where the White Tiger is in prison. He's very strong, but if you beat him in battle, I'm sure he'll help you with your quest. So it's funny. Uh, two of the monsters were non-confrontational. That would be the Phoenix and the Blue Dragon. And they both uh, give you either a defensive um, effect, defensive protection in the form of the Phoenix, or, um, or uh, uh, health restoration and card restoration in the form of the Blue Dragon. But these last two cards, including um, the Earth Turtle and now the White Tiger, uh, they are attacking us. They're actually fighting us. And they are more than likely offensive monsters. As was the uh, Earth Tiger. The Earth Tiger straight up. Um, I mean, sorry, the Earth Turtle straight up attacked us. So, if we fight this uh, Tiger. It's likely he'll fight us too. I mean, it's likely he'll be a fighting card as well, is what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> so we got that fairy. We were really, really trying to get that fairy and we got it. Uh, I think there's maybe one more thing we need to get that we haven't gotten. We got those treasure chests. There it is, that fairy. That's the last fairy. Please. Uh, what is a human doing in a place like this? All right, so I think that was the very last fairy we were trying to get And I think he came from over here, so let's see what he was Doing over here So we fight the tiger there he is. Oh, oh god You son of a bitch Get my HP back Oh, you suck. Lucky I got sucky cars at the moment. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. No. Oh, I can't move. You son of a bitch. Nope. Oh, you son of a bitch. Like, he's like homing in on me. I'm like, oh, I can't do anything about it either. I just... Alright. You either have the right cars or you don't. Oh, that didn't do anything. I'm gonna need a bad grade. Yes. Yes, I'm gonna have to use that tree. Still homed in on me, bastard. Ugh. Kill it. Kill it. Kill this abomination. God damn. <laughs> He's not that cool when you use him. Um, he does do that tackle. He can't hit from like across the stage. I think. Oh, that's gonna be like a four star. I think. Um, but he uh, he's a summon type, so you can only use him once. So we'll we'll learn more about him, bastard. He tagged me real good. I'm pissed about that. That might even be a three star. I took so much damage. Okay, still got five. I, st I still don't get this grading system. Still don't get it. Maybe there's like thresholds you have to meet to get bad grades, but Jesus, I think every stage is completely different. All right, so I'm gonna go with the first three this time because I haven't done that in a while. Ha 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 That actually isn't a bad take home. A uh, Fenrir is pretty much useless in, in my eyes. Unicorn is pretty good. But these guys, these are my guys. We got this damn white tiger. Rareness of four because he's a legendary saint beast or Sacred Beast, uh, Nature Element, uh, Rareness of 20 Stone, or sorry, 20 Stone Requirement, it's been a while. 
uh, summit type and one use. He has one attack with the range for S, uh, offense of 99. I think you can actually hit somebody from across the stage with this thing because it's like a long ass, um, it's like a long ass thrust. I don't think at homes though, like what he's doing to us. So it's uh, limited in its use. Uh, the Lord of the Wood Creatures. From his terrible jaws, there is no escape. Uh, one of the most powerful summoned creatures in the game cannot be used under the two player fair play rule. He isn't really all he's cracked up to be. That 99 is a lot of damage, but for 20 stone, I think we can do better. Like if he was like 10 or 15 stone, he'd be like top tier, but 20 stone is a lot for um, 100 damage. When you break it down, he's doing like five, like five damage per stone. <laughs> Am I calculating that right? Like if he was a five stone monster, he'd be doing if he's a 10 stone monster, he'd be doing 50 damage, which isn't a lot. So he's doing like, uh, if he's a 10 stone monster, he's doing 50 damage. That means he's doing five damage a stone. Yeah, like what I said. Uh, as far as his monster attributes goes, he has way too much HP. Annoying bastard. He has 24 defense. His quick draw has a range of B and an offense of 48. But that shit homes in on you, goddammit. Um, as far as the profile goes, this lore of the wood creatures lives in an enchanted forest from which no man has ever returned. The razor sharp speed, uh, the speed and razor sharp claws of this legendary beast make it more than uh, deadly than ten master swordsmen. All right. Okay, that was annoying. That was very annoying, but we got some time left. So let's uh, first drop off some fairies to our boy Alexander. We got enough to get 90, which I believe is a free card, if I remember properly. But first, let's see what he has to say. Nothing new, looks like. But let's see what happens when we give him three more fairies to 90 that makes more than 90 fairies you've brought in I hope this car is helpful you have another gift for when you hit 100 good luck all right steel skeleton steel skeleton is worth a shit ton and I think we have so many that we can start to sell them but you know what Alexander's place is starting to get really busy he's right he's run out of space but once we leave, all these smaller fairies are going to turn into one big one. So it's going to be all good. It's going to be all fine for Alexander. Unless he's, he gets uh, nibbled to death once we leave. So if he does, I ain't saying nothing. Just going to let that happen. Um, What else can we do? Uh, Gert's not going to tell us nothing new. I guess we can prepare our deck for what's coming once we get to Rorak, because we're going to go ahead and conquer that finally. But I guess we can go back to Spam, because that's our like favorite at the moment. Everything is like similar to Spam, though, at this point. You can kind of like interchange the first three just fine and be okay. Fire has a major oversight in that I can't restore cards or HP. Melee is okay. But I did change it to do some stage. I did alter it so I can I should probably change it again. But for now, we use spam. And for now, I will end the episode. So I appreciate you guys for watching this episode and for dealing with my shenanigans. Uh, and I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, definitely take care, guys. Until next time, I appreciate you all. Peace.